Let's get started out with the big stick here at Purdue University. Jimmy, we're lucky to be here at the Burke Boilermaker Golf Complex. Two wonderful 18 holes here and a oh. great practice facility. Oh, all the way around. I mean, people that are go to school at Purdue, I mean, this is public, amazing. Yes. The public can come here. It's amazing. Obviously, the team gets to practice here, too. So. Uh, and if weather's like this in Indiana, I mean, life's good, right? I mean, <laughs> Maybe three, four months yeah, out of the yeah, year, yeah, but right, that's okay. Right. I played Big Ten golf. I know how it is. Yeah, you know how it yeah. is, right? All right, so this is probably for a little higher level player. Our cameraman, Brian Franey, is like, hey, I always wanted to know how, if I wanted to draw it or if I wanted to fade it, how do I do it? Yeah, if you control it and specialize, yes, this is a little bit more skilled player. I'd well, say, yeah. it is for a higher skill level player, but it's not hard. Yeah, I mean, it's not a difficult thing. I think people feel like they need to change their path by the way they take it away. It's really not true. I watched a uh, clinic one time with a guy named Ted Purdy. He's a former mm -hmm, PGA Tour player. Still, he still plays the PGA Tour at times. And it was he made it so simple, and I've used this so many times. So I'm going to pass it. it on to you, all right? Let's start out. You draw the balls. We're going to start out with drawing the ball. <laughs> it's, right? it's a gentle way to this say is, it. This, I hook it. <laughs> when I miss it, I hook it. I really hook it. Yeah. So to hit the draw, the first thing you have to do is the ball has to start right of your target. So Holly's going to go yep. ahead and she's going to set up to the golf ball normally. Like okay. she's aiming straight. Now what I want her to do to be able to start it right of the target is I want her to move her feet line. So she's going to square her feet up a little bit in this direction right here. So her body's going to move to here. Okay. As you can see, Holly's a good player, so she understood that her shoulders went with her feet. Yep. So now we're shoulders, we're feet, her grip from a standpoint, we're going to keep it the same, but we're going to go ahead and just close the club face just a mm -hmm. tad. We don't want to close the club face a lot. We're going to close it just a tad. Now the big key for Holly to be able to start the ball right here and bring it back is she has to swing on that path of where her feet and her arms are, right? So she takes the club back in a straight way, and then on the way down, she swings on that exact same path, which is going to be somewhere in this general yep. area right here. And then she just releases the club like she normally would. So go ahead and do that, Holly. Okay. Let's try so again, it. again, set up. Yep, good. Square. Yep, so I was here. Yep. Now I'm here. Perfect. All right, let's get it working left. Good. There it goes. Holly hits that hook because that's what she hits. She loves that shot. There so, it goes. All right, so now let's go to the fate. It's the exact same thing. We're just going to do the opposite. This is a little harder mm -hmm. for her. It's not her natural shot. And I know right. a lot of you, it may not be your natural shot also. So let's start out again. Let's start out straight and get you set up in that position. Okay. So with the fade, all we're going to do is the exact opposite. Again, we want Holly to start the ball for the fade. It has to start on this side. Yep. You can't block it. It has to start on this side. So she's doing exactly Move what we want to do. Move my feet. And this feels very unnatural to me. If yeah. you guys are doing this, it's okay. This isn't your shot, right? It's all right. Yeah. So start feet left. Yeah. Shoulders are left. Mm -hmm. So now on her downswing, her path will follow that same direction of feet and shoulders on the way down. That'll allow her to start, her to start the ball Ooh. left of here and go to there. Big thing here, you Ooh. need to have that ball position up front. It can't be back. If it's too far back, you're still not gonna be able to start it where you want to. So go ahead Let's and try it. make that swing. This does not feel good, but that's okay. <laughs> swing it on that path. Look at that, a little Ooh. cut for you. Wow. That's beyond a little cut for you. Right? Wow. Right? So really, really simple. Yeah. How about you, right? I don't cut. know. We've been playing. I don't know how that felt, yeah. but yeah, that's exactly the intended result. It's real simple. It's all in your setup, and then just swinging on the path mm -hmm. of where you've aimed your body. With a hook for you, your natural swing is to already draw it. So yeah. when we closed you up, it turned boom, into a hook, boom, right? Boom, boom, and yeah. which may happen to you. So you just have to play with your natural swing, your natural shot, and uh, see how it works. Here's the thing: we are smarter than we think that we are. Yeah. When your when your body is not lined up correctly. Your mind knows that, and yep. your hands are gonna, you know, Take manipulate over. it. That's yep. how it is. Yeah. Well, she's smarter than <laughs> Well, I would have to be smarter than what you think that I am. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. All right, well, more to come? Yeah, more to come on Swing Clinic after the break. We've got